Hello. This Sunday, the 16th of September, we're going to be selling a lot of wonderful items in our auction. And one of the groups of items that we're going to be selling that we're kind of excited about and we've had a lot of inquiries on is our mechanical bronze erotica theme pieces, uh, plus some other erotica that isn't bronze. Uh, this video is made so that uh, the uh, potential bidder can get a good idea what they're going to possibly be bidding on or buying. Uh, and we hope that uh, this is something that uh, they do appreciate what we're going to offer here. Uh, this is a Bergman popular bronze. Uh, I've seen it many times before. The nice thing about this one is, is the polychrome paint is excellent on it, and it's in really wonderful shape. When you lift it, uh, reveals her nudity, which was uh, highly risque at the time. As I turn it around, you can see that the condition is fine. This one here is well stamped. Uh, here there's a little uh, Bergman uh, B in the urn stamp. There's also a mark down here, which is marked Nam Greb, which is Bergman's name backwards that he occasionally signed his pieces like that. And then on the very bottom, there's a Bergman mark uh, with the B in the urn. Uh, the condition is just really great. And that's going to be lot number 71. It was lot 64, the erotic match striker. This is made of a silver plate, and it also is pre-1900. On one end is the striker. On the other end, when the button's pushed, the door opens to remove the matches. Also, under this door is the erotic scene. I'm going to demonstrate it so you can see. As you can hear the motor working, unfortunately, it's not moving at the same time, so it does need some adjustment. Great item. I hope you bid on it. Thank you. Lot 152A is another Bergman two-piece mechanical bronze, polychromed in gilt and green and red and other little colors. We couldn't find a signature on it, but uh, there's no question about who made it. And uh, the patina definitely shows the age, which would probably be pre-1900. And these were made so that when you wanted to create the erotic scene, you basically would just put the two of them together and there you would have it. Lot 69A, another Austrian bronze polychromed. This one's kind of unusual. Uh, we haven't found anybody that uh, has seen this one before. And uh, in that particular situation, I'm surprised uh, that uh, I thought all of them had been seen uh, at one time or another. This one here is almost like it's a couple of uh, Caucasian uh, people, uh, flapper girl uh, with the flapper hairstyle, uh, polychromed in a silver type finish, and this one here in a copper finish with the red bathing suit. And from what I can figure out, which is not too difficult, is that when it's joined together as an erotic bronze, this is the way it would be uh, seen. Lot 148A is another pair of Austrian bronzes. And this one, I'm going to say, is quite rare. Uh, you don't see this one hardly at all. Uh, we're thrilled to have it. It shows a satyr and it's signed Bergman on the bottom. And the other piece also is signed Bergman Geschutz which I believe Geschutz is another word for uh, uh, one of a kind or um, uh, copyright uh, is what I should have said. Anyways, uh, the girl is on a hinge and he is placed 
where they have a male and female type fitting here where this slides right in and locks him in the place for the erotic scene. The patina is wonderful. Lot 71A is perhaps a very common Bergman bronze of the girl with the lift up skirt. It's polychromed. She's got little turquoise stones in her headdress and a little red stone there. And it's in very good condition, wonderful patina. And it's signed Bergman right there with the B in the urn, clearly. Mounted on a cylinder shaped marble piece. And it's in just fine condition. That's 71. Lot 143 is a great bronze only because it carries our namesake, Treasure Seeker. And it depicts a treasure seeker type person with a shovel digging into some dirt. And of course the erotic scene, which is what it's all about, is when you remove it, you have the bronze nude laying on the rocks there. And the plaque reads, a treasure seeker. Uh, I'd be kidding if I didn't tell you that's where we got our name from. It's done by Kaba. That's Carl Kaba in the late 19th century. The interesting thing about Kaba, who's known for doing all kinds of subjects and everything, is he was an Austrian that never left his country or at least never came into America to uh, study the Indians and Western subjects. He did them all from Austria. And that's always been kind of an interesting thing about him. The back of it, everything is just really great. It's in great patina. It's a nice old piece. And uh, I think whoever buys it would be thrilled. Lot 114A, the Iron Maiden, which is actually bronze. And the inside is, has a beautiful nude figure in Doré bronze. And that's made also so it can slide out relatively easy. And it's in wonderful condition and that is signed and done by Carl Kaba. 89A is a very popular bronze by Carl Kaba. Uh, it's got a uh, robe that when it's unlatched, her nudity is revealed underneath. Uh, normally there's a clockwork mechanism which operates the robe opening up very slowly till it's fully opened. Uh, for whatever reasons, uh, when it came in it was working and now it's not doing that. Uh, but it's still a very fun bronze by Kaba and it is not signed. One fifteen A is a Bergman bronze of a mummy and the mechanical part is when you open up the door there's a nude lady inside. She is not removable. She's polychromed and the outside of the mummy case is all polychromed also with different colors of yellows, reds and uh, blues. And on the back of it It's signed Nam Greb and the Bergman mark. Uh, Nam Greb was spelled Bergman uh, backwards. One sixty five A is a Austrian bronze of a nude lying down amongst some rocks, and she is a mechanical. And her mechanical part is her drapery that's around her. And that is opened and now closed. And it's mounted on an oval marble base. Uh, this is not signed, but appears to have really good age to it. Lot 166A is a Dore bronze figure of a woman sitting on a couch with her dachshund sitting next to her. 
and she's made so that you can lift her off and if you turn her upside down you reveal what's underneath her dress it has a little peg in it which when it is properly sitting it is locked into that this one is not signed but still a wonderful old bronze 111 is a doré bronze of a nude laying down on a white marble slab with some black veining and she is designed so that when you lift her leg you could put your cigar in there and cut the tip off these were certainly popular towards the late 19th century into the early beginning of the 20th century this is not signed 107a is a doré bronze of a lady sitting in a basket with one breast exposed. She's made so that when you lift her off the basket, she reveals her underside. This piece is quite heavy. It's not signed, but it's got good age to it. Here we have lot 112A, perhaps quality-wise, of all the bronzes that are in the auction, uh, the quality is just impeccable. It uh, has one of these Indian goddess figures there with the four different arms. Uh, she is topless. She surprisingly is signed Nam Greb with the Bergman mark. And I have to say that I believe this to be also uh, an extremely rare Bergman item that most collectors have never seen. But there's no question about the quality that you would want from a Bergman. And uh, she's one of my favorite items in the sale. Next item we have and the last item of the mechanicals is the best, save the best for last. It's lot 113A. It's called Bear on Bear, done by Carl Caba. Uh, these bronzes are quite unique in the fact that uh, they have a lady sitting on top of a bear, and as soon as you unlatch her robe, she pops up nude, and subsequently you have the scene that the uh, sculptor had given this Bear on Bear. Uh, I'm gonna remove the latch and let you see how it works and it's signed Kaaba. Uh, 